Dear students, welcome back to another class of Social Science Standard 7. In the last class, we will learn the Renaissance, features of Renaissance, Humanism and the influence of Renaissance in the field of Arts, Science and Literature. Today we are going to learn the new topic Reformation. During the Renaissance period, in Europe faced a lot of changes. One of the change is Reformation. What is Reformation? The Reformation is the refinement underwent by the European Christianity in the 16th century. The refinement underwent by the European Christianity in the 16th century is known as Reformation. Reformation is the child of Renaissance. Martin Luther led this movement which began in Germany. Next we are going to learn another topic of this chapter in search of zero. We already learned that the Turks conquered Constantinople in 1453. This dismantled the trade between Asia and Europe. It necessitated the European traders to discover new Sea Road to Asia. In search of Sea Road, this topic we will discuss on another chapter. Next, Industrial Revolution. The Renaissance in the field of science invented new machines, which brought about the immense changes in the field of production. That means the production increased while cost of production decreased. Consequently, Production increased by the cost of production decreased. Cost of production means the expense during the making of a product. The production increased and the cost of production decreased due to the development of uh, in the field or development in the field of science. These changes in the field of production assured the industrial revolution. The industrial revolution which began in England. Today, we're going to learn about the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution is a stage of history that goes from 1780 to 1850 and began in England. For almost the entire history of mankind, life had been based on agriculture and livestock. At the end of the 18th century, the Englishman James Watt invented, or rather perfected, the steam engine. Until then, the artisans had been dedicated to the manufacturing of utensils with their own hands in small workshop, but with the arrival of the steam engine that changed forever. This machine used the energy of steam to transform it into power and moving other machines. These new machines were applied to the industry and began to do the work that the artisans used to do. So the small artisan workshops were disappearing, giving way to big factories. The steam engine was also used for transport, and the first trains and steamboats were manufactured, which facilitated trade and travel between cities and countries. Europe was filled with trains. Not being able to make a living in the countryside or in the villages, they emigrated to the big cities to work in the factories. Today, we continue to use many of these rights and also many of the machines we use are developments of those first steam engines. You already know that knowing the past allows us to understand the present and improve the future. Let's check the inventions during the period of uh, Industrial Revolution and uh, the scientists' name. First, flying shuttle. Flying shuttle, the scientist John K. Spinning chimney, spinning chimney invented by James Hargreaves. Steam engine, steam engine invented by James Watt. Locomotive, locomotive invented by the scientist George Stephenson. Let's conclude our class. Today we learn the Reformation. The Reformation means the refinement underwent by the European Christianity in the 16th century. Martin Luther led this movement which began in Germany. Next we learn 
in search of sea route in search of sea route the european traders were compelled to invent a new sea routes next we learn industrial revolution the industrial revolution which began in england and we learn the names of scientists and their inventions during the industrial revolution period hope you all understood today's class let's wind up thank you